I am knackered. Never been so in love in my life. I think I've cracked it. It's been a long time since I've bought myself a nice handbag. It's something that I worried about specifically at night time when I was going to bed a lot. Look at my car right now, guys. We've officially begun. I love you. Hello everyone, welcome back to another weekly vlog. You join me this morning on Tuesday morning. Things have started to move this week. So yesterday was Monday, I didn't vlog at all because the whole day I spent starting to move stock from home up to the office. I have a lot of stock, so I think it's gonna take most of this week to transfer everything. I'm hoping it's not gonna affect sending out the orders at all. I'm just gonna ferry between the two spaces this week, like to collect whatever items people order. I'm gonna try not to lose track of where specific things are, collars in specific sizes and things like that. I'm gonna try and stay as organized as I can. I'm kind of doing it in like groups. So the first things that I took to the office were the big dog harnesses, which were, here. Look at this empty space now. I still have three more tubs to take up today of the big dog stuff. I've also taken, what else, the hand warmers for dog walking. The rope leads, they're a big one. I've taken a lot of them. And then the next thing to take is just the standard collections for the small dogs. So like all the different designs. I'm going to do it one design at a time. So I know that like the pink collection is up there or the burgundy collection is here to try and make my life easier this week. It's only one week though, it's going to be difficult. By the end of this week, I will be working from the office which is so exciting that's the aim anyway so yeah you join me on a busy moving week me and my dad spent quite a lot of time up at the office this weekend and that's also progressed quite far so the toilet is now pretty much finished the packing bench is done i'll show you it all i'm about to go up there in a minute anyway to take up the next carload of stock i feel like my muscles will triple in size by the end of this week not that there's any muscle there anyway you know how it is when you go and go to the gym but the first thing i need to do before i go up to the office is call Vodafone because the internet is still not working up there. We'll put you through to one of the teams shortly. So could I arrange for an engineer to come out this week please? Hello. Hello. Oh my god they're playing Adele. Can I get around Thanks for your help. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Well, that was a lot of faff. 20 minutes later. Someone commented on a vlog recently saying, why don't you show your dog much anymore? You don't show her enough. Honestly, I thought you guys may be bored of seeing the dog. Maybe I thought wrong, but here she is. Let's have a little catch up with Sunny. Sunny, the people want a catch up. How are you feeling? What have you been up to? Are you still fluffy? Of course she's still fluffy. She's all good. She had a little bit of an ear infection recently, but the, the vet gave her some medicine and her ears are all fine now. She's got a groom next week, but she doesn't want to talk about it. And she's just been a really good girl she's just fitting in with life between home and the office and the move she just comes where i go don't you look at that little face look at your nose oh oh she's so tired <laughs> you had a busy day so this is the main bulk of stock that we have to transfer to the new office i figured i can fit 10 of these tubs in my car if i stack them right so i mean a good few trips, obviously there's this little aisle down here as well, um, yeah, it's going to take quite a lot of trips in total, but I mean, I'll get there, I'll get there in the end. Let's go and fill it up again. We've got this. I've got this. <laughs> Couldn't do this without the trusty Crocs on in sport mode, of course. Look at my car right now, guys. Thank God I upgraded to a slightly bigger car, honestly. Ten tubs I've got in here and the boot as well. That's good going, in my opinion. Although my passenger's not very chatty today. <laughs> We have just been for a little walkie woos. She's chilling, she'll have a nap now. Um, and I'm up at the office. Is anyone else's dog obsessed with their coat? Like wherever I put my coat on the floor, she will get on it straight away. I have got a very exciting haul for you guys. First of all, how adorable is this background? Love this mirror. This was an Ikea buy. Her little toy basket down here of the pink sofa. Oh my god, I haven't even shown you the pink sofa in full. Let me show you. So ignore the fact that it's got a puppy and a coat on it, but how 
incredible is this pink velvet sofa. Never been so in love in my life. It's a really decent size as well. Like it's definitely not tiny. It's a two seater. I got this on Facebook Marketplace. Wait till you hear this bargain. My saving on this sofa, drum roll please. 800 pounds, 850 pounds to be exact. So I found it on Facebook Marketplace in an area that's probably like 15, 20 minutes away from where I live. I just typed in pink velvet sofa, voila, this beauty popped up. There were actually quite a few as well, but this one, basically I got it from a lovely young couple. My dad and I went to go and pick it up and it was 200 pounds on Facebook. Oh, I'm having a scratch, you go for it, hun. And this sofa was in their conservatory and they got it two and a half years ago, put it in the conservatory, never really used it. So it's in perfect condition as well. And they originally bought it just two and a half years ago, literally just before the pandemic, to put that into perspective, for over a thousand pounds. It's from Next. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but I will link it down below. Um, it comes in loads of different colours. This is obviously the blush velvet one. And yeah, they were selling it for 200 So, absolute win. I'm so happy with it. It's really comfortable. This is probably my favourite purchase for the whole office so far. Anyway, today guys, I've got a little haul for you from Cherries. Can I get a hell yeah? Thanks. This isn't sponsored by the way, but the lovely team at Cherries very kindly gifted me these items. And they're also giving you guys a discount code. Let me find it real quick. So if you use the code FABULOUSHANNA25, you'll get 25% off your first order on the Cherries app or the website. I'll leave a link to the app in the description down below. It's honestly one of my favourite apps ever. I could scroll down it for hours. I did in fact when I was picking out these items. And they basically sell like all your bargain homeware goods, cleaning, even home decor. So so instead of having to go into shops to find the bargains, you can get them delivered to your door. Right, let me show you the bargains that I got. So Cherries also have a snack section on the website and their snacks are elite. So I'm gonna start off with the food that I got to keep up at the office. So the snacks that I picked out, I've just had a packet of these, animal biscuits. Anyone else remember these from when they were younger? Couldn't believe it when I saw them. I've not had them for years. Mini party rings, mini Marylands, can't go wrong. Mini jammies and mini rolls, everything mini and cute. Then I got this little basket to keep them in, in the kitchen cupboard. For savoury, I got mini cheddars. And these, which I didn't know these exist, but these are one of my favourite pastas. I normally get the ones in the packet, but you can also get them in a little tub and you just fill it up like a pot noodle with boiling water. So I've got two of these, cheese and broccoli. Will be so good if I forget my lunch. Got another little basket to keep the savouries in. And I got some of Sunny's favourite treats. So that's all the snacks. Most of the stuff I got are cleaning supplies because that's what I was in need of. So first of all, I'm going to start with stuff for the bathroom. I got a few feminine products, just because it's going to be mostly women in this office basically me, my mum, if I employ anyone, I assume it's going to be friends first of all. My best friend Leanne's going to be coming up here a lot. So for the bathroom, oh, I got this little vase for the shelf. How cute is that going to be? Then I got a packet of pads. I got a pack of panty liners and a pack of tampons. I also got a pack of these clean and fresh toilet tissue wipes. I thought these might be good. I need to do some research actually, but I thought these would be good if Sunny's got dirty paws. I'm assuming I could use them on her feet, um, but they'll go in the bathroom anyway. Also got a deodorant, got a Nutridol to keep the toilet odours out. Not that I'll be pooing here because I can't poo anywhere except my house. I got a couple of these storage baskets because how adorable are these? You can never have too many storage baskets in an office like this. They're like little shopping baskets. Oh my God, they're adorable. I also got this tub. Not gonna lie, I thought this was gonna be bigger. I should have read the measurements on the app. Um, this was gonna be my box for my cleaning supplies, but I'll use it for something else now. Like I said, you can never have too much storage. Right, and now moving on to the cleaning section, probably my favorite section. First thing I got is a little reed diffuser for up here. I've already taken it out. It smells unbelievable. It's in the scent red cherry blossom. I'm gonna whiz through this because there's quite a few things. So, pack of sponges, some rubber gloves, antibacterial wipes, hand soap, antibacterial surface cleaner with some little multi-purpose cloths. Window and glass cleaner, mostly for the mirror. Bathroom surface wipes. A little floor cleaner for downstairs. Bin bags. Descaling tablets for the kettle. Antibacterial spray. Bleach for the bog. Fridge fresheners. Pets of flora. Duster. Toilet cleaner. Wood polish. A dustery duster. Sunny's like, what is that? Oh, suspicious. And last but not least, a Febreze plug-in in the scent Thai Orchid. 
I can't wait to plug this in. I'm going to plug it in right after I film this section. So yeah, that is everything that I picked out from Cherries. Don't forget guys, the app is linked down below and if you use the code FABULOUSHANNAH25 you can get a whopping 25% off your order. You're welcome. Thank you again to Cherries for very kindly sending this box over and keeping the office nice and clean. Sparkling, isn't it? Look at my little tub of cleaning goodies. How cute are they? Most people probably wouldn't describe them as cute but I think that is such a lovely little collection in my little tub going in my little understairs cupboard. Polaroid, yellowed in the sun, longing to be seen, so come and hide, hide with me, hide with me, hide with me. This is what the toilet looks like now guys. So we've almost finished it this weekend, it looks so cute. Like I said, my theme in here was beige with black accessories. I've got a couple of prints from Decenio arriving to go here and here, so that's why there are gaps in those shelves. But how lovely does it look? With the hanging plant from Matalan, the shelves, these are from eBay. Got a little reed diffuser, it smells lovely in here. Some little fake plants, I've just put this up from cherries lovely and over this side i got this little black cabinet so this was from argos it was 35 pounds and inside the cabinet i've just put these in i got these little storage boxes little narrow ones from amazon i got the pads and tampons in there the deodorant a spare soap lovely stuff and then down here i've got my little black soap dispenser with festive berry hand soap in from the body shop very fancy little black hand towel oh i've got this little pampas grass vase over here but i think i'm going to change the pampas grass for something more fake because it's dropping already i think just maybe like some green eucalyptus in there or something but yeah i'm really pleased with it i think it looks so sweet really homely for an office toilet this is also how the stock room's coming along still got a lot more to bring up but so far so good I've got all the spare rope leads, honestly so many, over here. Some more accessible rope leads, I'm just sorting that out, I need to bring up some more tubs to put some more of those in. Hand warmers, travel mugs, miscellaneous things here. These are all the big dog harnesses, got three more boxes to bring up of those. And then this is where the normal collection starts. I'm going to do the Stitch With Love collection along this wall, I think. The other collections along this wall, possibly collars over here, I'm thinking. I'm not too sure yet. I'll figure it out. It's all a work in progress, but we've officially begun. My little poppet, are you ready to pop home for lunch? Because I'm hungry and I've got a pot of hummus waiting for me in the fridge. Again, so it's now Thursday. It's actually Thursday evening right now. It's been a busy day today. I've actually had a lot of orders because I put a sale live last night on the website. So one of my collections is 50% off and the website went a bit crazy. So I've been packing orders for most of the day today. Then I took some more stock up to the office and let me turn the camera around and show you what this office looks like right now. It feels so bare. This is the most recent collection, the one that's selling the most at the moment. So I wanted to take that in last. But then, other than that, look how empty it looks. My little puppy, look at her little face. I love you. Anyway, the reason I wanted to sit down and have a little chat this evening is because I posted an Instagram story yesterday. If you follow me, you may have seen it. If you don't follow me, go and follow me. I was going to say you won't regret it, but you actually might. Um, anyway, I posted a couple of stories while I was out walking with Sunny, and I basically said that I've spoken really openly about my journey with Sertraline. <laughs> I call it Sertraline. It's actually pronounced Sertraline. So if I say Sertraline, just ignore me. If you don't know what it is, it's an antidepressant. I've been on and off it for how many years now? First took it when I was... 
I think I was like 16 or 17. I'm now 23. I've been on and off it twice. So I started taking it when I was 17. I can't remember how long it was. A couple of years later, I came off it. Then I went back on it during lockdown. And now I'm slowly weaning myself off it again. So it's been a bit of a roller coaster, not gonna lie. I promise I'll get to the point eventually. But the reason I posted the stories about it is because I've been taking it twice a week for a while now on a Tuesday and a Friday. And this week is the first week where I'm cutting down to once a week. You have to slowly wean yourself off just so your brain doesn't go crazy, basically. So yeah, I'll be taking it once a week well, hopefully for a few weeks, maybe a couple of months, whatever I feel I need. And then fingers crossed, I'll be off it again. But could all go to pot. I could go back to taking it twice a week. I just don't know how I'm going to feel yet. But I've received quite a few questions about sertraline over the years from you guys. I think just because I've spoken about it a few times. So I thought instead of trying to reply to everyone's Instagram DMs separately, I would just do a little sertraline, antidepressant, anxiety, depression, mental health Q&A here. If you're not interested in this part of the vlog, I will leave a timestamp on screen for you to skip to. But hopefully you'll find what I've got to say interesting. Before I start, would just like to say I'm absolutely no expert I'm just gonna be very honest just gonna tell you how I feel about it as if I'm talking to a mate you know so please if you have any judgments or criticisms on anything I'm about to say keep it to yourself because everyone's journey is different and you don't know who's gonna be reading the comments so I'm not a doctor this is just what's happened with me. First question, I think this is quite a good place to start. How did you know it was time to take sertraline? So like I said, I started taking them when I was 17 and I just lost my grandma. I was having a bit of a downtime, but the downtime lasted longer than normal. So I went to the doctors about it. I just felt a bit numb, like not really sad. I just kind of felt nothing. And someone else asked, did you ever try therapy? And I was offered therapy or medication. The waiting list for therapy was really long with no guarantee that it was gonna work. Medication, I could start then and there. So I decided to go down the medication route rather than the therapy. Some people may not agree with that, but for me, it was a quick fix. I needed it then and there, and I wasn't willing to wait around to talk to someone. I used to have therapy when I was much younger, but it was more hypnotherapy rather than anything. I've never like sat down with someone and spoke about my feelings. Did you have any side effects from taking antidepressants? Someone said they had nightmares. I actually don't think I did. When I first started taking them the first time and then when I started taking them again the second time, I did feel sick for quite a while. I'd say like maybe two to three weeks. The first time I was in sick form, so it was a lot more noticeable that I was like in lessons feeling sick. But that passed and then I don't think I did really have any other symptoms from it. Someone said, did you gain weight from being on it? I don't know if this is a common side effect, but to be honest, I don't know. 17 to 23 is quite a long period of time, obviously. I've gained weight in those six years. I don't know whether that's down to the medication or whether it's just down to growing up, you know? Don't really care either way. The medication helped me up here and that's what was important to me. How to cope with feeling ashamed about taking medication. There really is zero shame in it. In fact, I think it's a really brave thing to do to speak up and talk to someone and acknowledge that you need help. Also, there's so many reasons for people having mental health issues, childhood trauma, relationships, you name it. Like you can never judge someone else for being on medication because you don't know what's happened for them to get to that point. To be honest, I've never really understood the stigma around taking medication. I don't get why there is a stigma. I guess I just don't overthink things when it comes to stuff like that. Like if it's gonna help me, I'm gonna take it. The next one says, I've been on sertraline for three-ish years now. How did you know it was time to wean off? I think I'd got it in my system. I'd always wanted in the back of my mind to come off it. It was never gonna be a lifelong thing for me. I just found that I felt good. I'd felt good for quite a while. And then I spoke to my doctor just briefly about it. And she mentioned something like, we don't recommend being on sertraline. If you're thinking of starting a family, obviously nowhere near that point, no thank you. And I don't know how scientifically true that is. I don't know, I've not looked into it, but it kind of scared me into wanting to wean myself off it. And I was feeling a lot better anyway. Whether she'd have said that or not, I would have started the weaning process, but that definitely like in my mind sped things up because I was like, hang on a minute. Is this going to affect me in the future? Don't let that scare you. I don't know if it does. I don't know. I don't know the research behind it. I don't know if it's to do with like postpartum depression. Not a doctor. Ultimately, it was because I'd had a long stint of feeling fine. And then as I started to wean myself off, I found that I was having less and less flat days, is what I call them, because I don't feel sad on these particular days. I just feel nothing, tired, 
not really any thoughts in my brain <laughs> happening but that was happening less and less so I started to take the tablets less and less I still have flat days every now and again I'm down to like maximum once a week just gonna have to see how that goes do you have a certain type of anxiety mine is health anxiety my most common theme of anxiety is losing loved ones it's something that I worried about specifically at night time when I was going to bed a lot luckily that has got much better now and I don't worry about it as much but I guess grief anxiety and that's funny actually because that's the reason I started taking them in the first place so I guess it's kind of like a cycle that's kind of what prompted it when I lost my grandma when I was 16 17 and that's still the thing that I worry about to this day that must be connected in my brain maybe I should speak to a therapist <laughs> what are your coping mechanisms when you're having a low moment self-pity wallowing I'm one of those, I just want to sit on the sofa, feel sorry for myself, eat all the good snacks. I give myself a day to feel like that and then I'm like, okay, I ain't got time for this anymore. Pick myself up again the next day. But I let myself feel those feelings. I just feel like I need to say this. There's quite a few people that are saying they've been on Sertraline, Sertraline for quite a long time. And referring back to my starting a family comment, I just want to reiterate, I don't know how true that is. I don't want that to worry anyone. It was just something I was told by my GP. Someone said, did it feel like a step backwards when you went back on it? Um, a little bit at the time, I'm not going to lie, but I have absolutely no regrets. As soon as I was on it and I was starting to feel better again, I knew it was the right thing to do. And the final question I'm going to answer, because my dinner is ready, is do you think getting a dog has helped your mental health? Definitely. Not only because of the serotonin it releases having a dog like all the scientific facts stroking a dog etc etc but having a little thing to focus on made me realize i was a really selfish person before i had sunny like i was so in my own brain but as soon as she came home it was like right i've got to look after this little creature now it sounds so cheesy but she really did give me a purpose and something to focus on and something to enjoy and get outside at least twice a day all of that is so good for your brain so 100 percent getting sunny help my mental health like in so many ways anyway guys that is it for my little mental health q a like i said if you are going to leave a comment about this topic please make it kind because you never know who could be reading it and it could affect them so catch you in the morning for friday good morning everyone oh magpie don't want that bad luck i've just done my makeup this morning and wanted to share with you some of my fave products at the moment because i really feel like i have cracked my base makeup i'm really happy with it got my little makeup bag here this is from h&m i love it it's so handy because the um the top section i've got all my brushes in and then the bottom section is obviously all my makeup for my actual base makeup the products i use first of all concealer collection lasting perfection and i love it i use the shade 10 buttermilk so i put that on first after my skincare for my skincare i use this from glossier this is the glossier solution then today i used the charlotte tilbury magic cream and then i used the glossier future dew this is so good for helping you look glowy so skincare concealer then bronzer so this is why i think i've cracked it i don't use any powder products on my face other than powder obviously i use a liquid bronzer a liquid blush obviously concealer is liquid and i just feel like it sits on my skin better so the bronzer i use i waited ages for this to come back into stock it's from charlotte tilbury it's the contour wand i use the shade fair medium it looks a little bit grubby but it's like one of those where you squeeze it out the end and then it's got this spongy bit i put this across my forehead a couple of dots on my cheeks down the sides of my nose and under my chin love it it's so easy to blend out it's quite expensive and it looks like a really small tube but i've used this most days for probably like a month now and i don't feel like it's anywhere near running out so i'm very pleasantly surprised with that then for blusher i use the glossier cloud paint in the shade puff the powder I use is from Laura Mercier. I just put this under my eyes here, kind of like in a T shape. And that is my base makeup. That's it. That's everything I use. But yeah, I feel like it sits on my skin really well. Here's a little close up for you. I have got one little spot on my chin because I've started taking my pill again this week. But I'm really happy with it. I feel like it looks healthy and natural. Oh, I do use a powder highlight, actually. I use this one from Ofra. It's the Milk and Cookies Highlight probably could use a liquid highlight but i like that i'm happy with that guys my aim for today is to get all of the stock up to the office and done i reckon we can do it i decided to treat myself and i'm not going to justify it too much but i will just say i'm really proud of myself for the past month or so for organizing everything up at the office i never thought i could do it obviously i've had advice from my parents but ultimately i've done 
pretty much everything by myself like set everything up sort out the bills and stuff moving the stock up there as well i reckon i've got two more maybe three more trips to do in my car and then all the stock will be done i'm just proud of myself for taking the leap and starting this next chapter so got myself a new handbag didn't i and i actually got a free purse with it well i say free it was kind of free kind of not but it's from coach i haven't opened it yet it's just arrived so i thought we could open it together a little unboxing if you will this is so exciting it's been a long time since i've bought myself a nice handbag this one gives me such summer vibes oh you know it's posh when it comes in a little bag i have no idea what this was called cannot remember for the life of me but I'll leave a link to it down below. Oh my gosh, I love the colour. I thought it was going to be white, white, but it's actually more cream. Sorry, worst unboxing ever. It's not even in the shop. I'm so pleased about that. I was a little bit hesitant about the white. That's the only thing that was putting me off, is that I thought it would look so dirty, but it's actually a really nice cream. OMG, love. How nice is the colour of that handle as well? It's got a long strap as well. I'm actually obsessed. Please ignore the sound of Sunny ripping up the packaging in the background. That is so nice. I'm so glad I went for this colour. It was between this one and the khaki green. But I love this one for summer. I don't like these little bobbly claspy things. I think they always look cheap. So I always take that off and keep it like in a zipped compartment somewhere. It's just not a bit of me. Oh my god, it comes with another bag inside. Let's open the purse too. The reason I said this was free is because on the website it was if you spend £400 you get a pounds off so these two things together were like just over 300 pounds so this basically worked out to be free i went for the red bold because it was free well it was heavily discounted shall we say i wouldn't say it's my favorite purse i've ever had it feels quite stiff but i guess that's because i've like haven't used it yet um but it's got the card section down here not my favorite layout i prefer when the card section is like it opens up and all the cards go down in one row if you know what i mean again for the summer i think it's cute i used to have a little red coach bag which i've still got I haven't used it for a while but it was in this same shade of red and i absolutely loved it i still do it's in my wardrobe she is an icon what a lovely combo for the summer like yes she's classy and neutral but also she's a little bit fun i feel like i didn't do the best job of actually showing you the bag just then and like the inside compartments in case anyone's interested so yeah it has two straps this one which is the one i probably use the most and then the longer strap i'm gonna figure out if i need to make this a little bit shorter or whatever but it's nice to have the option of two you can wear it cross body the bag itself isn't too big which i like but it's bigger than all my other handbags that i use currently the inside of it there's a zipped pocket that runs down the middle and it's got like this burgundy lining all the hardware is gold and then it has two separate sections the middle compartment is stitched at the bottom so it doesn't like it's not just one big hole this is the first compartment it's also got another little pocket just in there and this side closes with the popper. And then the second side looks like this. So it's got the little coach label stitched on there. And this is the side that closes with the logo clasp. Is that what you'd call it? So pleased with that. This colour is divine as well. I've just adjusted the straps. The shorter strap I've put on the longest setting because I'd probably carry it like this most of the time, to be honest. And then the longer strap I've put on the shortest setting. Obviously, you can wear it like this. I don't think I would ever wear it like that, though. It kind of gives me, like, school bag vibes. <laughs> but when it's crossbody, I think that's in the best place. I definitely wouldn't want it any longer. But this does give me quite mum vibes. I'd only wear it like this, probably, like, if I was in London or something around my town going to the pub etc I would just use the shorter strap I think I'll keep the long one on it and this is if I like the extra strap but you can take them both off as well they've both got the little clasps so all in all I really really like it Today and not tomorrow, there's no time to She's only gone and done it guys. Saturday morning. I got it all done last night. All of the stock is now at the office. The last stuff to take up is this stuff. This is just like things from the desk, spare boxes, bins, etc. Um, and then obviously this shelving unit needs to go up. This desk and this desk. But we're so close to being done. It feels very bittersweet. I did have a little cry last night because it's just been such a nice, not scary place to work. Do you know what I mean? That probably makes no sense, but it feels comfortable. I've really enjoyed working from here and it feels massive in here now. Guys, Saturday evening, 
all the stock is now in look at this how mad does that look i actually can't believe how much stock i've got obviously i've never seen it all in like one room because it was spread out at home but there is way more than i thought there was i'm not gonna lie i've put all the collars over here bow ties here for now this is miscellaneous big dog harnesses and then the usual style harnesses come around here and my dad and i worked out excuse his tools on the floor at the moment but i could fit probably four aisles of tubs which equals to fit in 144 more tubs in this room not gonna lie this move feels very scary but seeing it like this i think it's just gonna make my life so much easier and then this is what it looks like from the corner lovely stuff right i'm gonna go home finish editing this vlog and have fish and chips for dinner i am knackered but I feel like I've had a really good productive moving week and I actually really enjoyed watching this vlog back if I do say so myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed it too. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below what's the best thing that happened to you this week. I would love to know. Do subscribe to see my future videos. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you again very soon with another little video. Bye guys. Love you.